Well, acclaimed, <coughs> excuse me, to Director Martin Scorsese goes to Netflix with his latest film, The Irishman, centred on the life of American union leader Jimmy Hoffa. It stars Robert De Niro, Al Pacino and Joe Pesci. Yeah, not a bad cast, yeah. really. Yeah, not bad. Catherine Chulich sat down with Scorsese and Al Pacino to hear the story behind the film and its creation. I'm going to put him on the phone and let you talk to him, OK? Hello? Is that Frank? Yes. Hiya, Frank. This is Jimmy Hoffa. Glad to meet you. Glad to meet you, too, even if it's over the phone. I heard you paint houses. Hold on, please. Hold on, Frank. Yes, I do, sir. When I first read, when I first read the book, I didn't know. I didn't quite know. Uh, I was going for something else. And uh, it was about the love, the betrayal, uh, whether there's remorse or not, regret, a reckoning in life. You know, you get to a certain point in life and there's a price you have to pay, you know? Are you aware of what it is, you know? Um, and as the film lumbered a, a, across, uh, you know, the five, six, seven years, through five, six, seven years, and we still couldn't get the financing, I had to do other films, um, this other element of uh, reflection seeped in, in a way, and it made it stronger. I realized where to go. I realise that's what's going to happen. A lot of people are talking about, obviously, the technical part of this, the digital de-ageing, if that's the right term. Uh, was that such a bonus for a filmmaker? I was wondering for the actors, though, I guess it's great, but in another way they have to think about being 39 or 40, you know. Mm, yes, I mean, yeah. I think, I think um, if anything, these roles for these actors, it was, this is the perfect time to, to try this experiment. We had uh, uh, people dealing with their posture with each take. They come up to them, work them out, move them, tell them sit up this way, put stuff. I mean, you know, what age? 56. Mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can I remember? <laughs> yeah. And so, so that was a, it was a, it's almost like wearing uh, uh, certain costumes on stage or mask on stage. You have to, you're, 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 that's, that's affecting your performance, but it's still a performance. Frank Sheeran. Is saying that right? Yeah, you said it right. Uh, under the contract, Management can only fire a driver on very specific charges. So, do you have a show up late? No. Do you have any moving violations? No. Do you drink on the job? No. Do you ever hit anybody? On a job? Yeah. I don't think so. There was no financing for the picture, and Netflix came in and said they'd do it. Complete financing and also complete creative freedom. And the trade-off is it's mainly streamed, but it also plays in theaters. And we figure, how many weeks? Well, we'll work that out later. And then it was worked out four weeks in theaters. This was the way this film was made. And in considering that, it actually affected, I think, the form of the picture and the look of the film. And I, I was doing that in the past, but not, not to this extent. And also I felt free. We felt free. We kept saying, well, let's play with the form here. Let's go here. Let's just see what happens. I know things they don't know I know. The good news about it is the script was good. So there was a character written and working with these great people, including Bob De Niro, Joe Pesci, Martin Scorsese. I mean, you know, so that was very helpful. But I did research on the, the Hoffa person who I sort of heard of when I was younger because mm. he was an icon. You know, he was the second, second most popular person to the president of the United States. I came in late to the film because they had started shooting a couple of three weeks. So, uh, you know, when you just come into a new place, uh, and you did, did, but there was Marty and, you know, it was such a welcoming kind of a thing and so such a sense of gives you such a sense of comfort and confidence mm -hmm. and that's what you need as an actor to know that there's someone at the helm who's going to take this ship take this ship in so in a lot of ways it frees you up and you do things maybe you wouldn't normally do because you're free and you trust because trust is very important yeah. in this whole thing i heard you didn't have to even say action like you, you guys just go right it's just such yeah. a comfortable something he, yeah. he, there's a comfort thing because he puts you in a sort of zone yeah. and then you're able to and if you've done some of the work uh to get there you understand what the script is and what the characters are it really does help he allows it to happen whatever you need me to do i'm available